Welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. My name is Arnel Castillo, and we will be discussing different domain types that are used with cPanel accounts from InMotion. We will be specifically discussing primary domains, add-on domains, parked domains, and subdomains. We will define each type, how to find them in cPanel, and how they're used in your account. The primary domain is the website name or domain name that the hosting account is based on. When you contact support or customer service, the account can be referenced by this domain name. This doesn't mean that you can't host any other websites. It's just an identification name for the account. When an account is created, this is the website name that is used. You can find the primary domain by logging into cPanel and then looking at the general information column. It will be labeled primary domain. You can also find this information by logging into the account management panel or AMP and then going to the account technical details. In some cases, there are accounts that are created with a placeholder name. This often means that the primary domain name is not an active website or domain name that can be recognized on the internet since it is not registered to a domain registrar. What are add on domains? Quite literally, Add-on domains are website names added to an account. All of the account types provided by InMotion can host multiple domains. Add-on domains are separate websites that have been added into the cPanel account. Note that in order for a domain name to be recognized on the internet, be it a primary, add-on, or park domain, must be actively registered with a domain registrar. Previous versions of cPanel would literally place the folder under the primary domain's files. However, the current versions of cPanel place the add-on domain files in a separate folder. The location of the files for the domains is commonly referred to as the document root. To add an add-on domain to an account, first, make sure that the domain name is registered through a domain registrar and pointed to InMotion's name servers. Log in to cPanel and then go to the Domain section of the cPanel. Click on the Add-on Domains icon. You will then see the Add-on Domains page. You can create an Add-on Domain by filling out the fields in the Create an Add-on Domain section. Add-on Domains can be accessed by the registered domain that you use for these domains. However, it should also be noted that the cPanel considers these domains as subdomains of your primary domains. This means that if your primary domain is primary.com and one of your add-on domains is secondary.com, then the secondary domain can be accessed with a URL of http colon forward slash forward slash primary.com slash secondary.com. This type of URL is never used in public, but it can be accessed this way if needed. Normally, the main way that add-on domains are accessed is through the domain name that you designated. As long as the domain name is properly registered with the domain registrar and is pointed to InMotion's name servers, then the website will be accessible through the internet. Add-on domains are considered separate websites, so if you want to host another website on your account, then you would set it up as an add-on domain. When you create an add-on domain, you will add a domain name, a possible subdomain, and the location for its files, which is also called the document root. The subdomain and document root are automatically filled in for you, though you could also put in your own location. cPanel also gives you the option of creating a separate FTP account associated with the add-on domain. Once you add the add-on domain, it will be listed in a table at the bottom of the add-on domains page. What is a park domain? Park domains are labeled as aliases in cPanel. Basically, a park domain is one that is pointing to another domain. For example, if you own the .com, .net, and .org versions of a domain name, you can have them all point to a single domain name using park domains. A park domain can be used to hold a domain name or have commonly misspelled names point to a correct location. The drawback is that you would still need to register each domain name so that it could be recognized on the internet. When you create an alias, or parked domain, it is pointing to the primary domain by default. You can redirect the parked domain after it has been added. To create a new alias, 
click on the aliases icon in cPanel. Type in a domain name, then click on the blue Add Domain button. You will then see the domain name added to a list at the bottom of the page. Each domain will have the option called Manage Redirection. What are subdomains? Subdomains are basically folders or directories in a website. This type of domain does not need to be registered with a domain registrar as long as the domain name is properly registered. For example, you reference a blog folder on your website with a URL of http colon forward slash forward slash example dot com slash blog. The blog section is the subdomain. When you create a subdomain in cPanel, then you can also access it using a domain name like this, blog.example.com. Adding the subdomain in cPanel adds the necessary DNS entries for the subdomain to be recognized in this manner. A subdomain will always have a domain name at its root. Subdomains are frequently used to create memorable subsections of your website. Another example might be shop.example.com. To create a subdomain in cPanel, go to the domain section and click on the subdomains icon. Type in the name of the subdomain that you want to use. Select the domain you are using with it, then choose the folder associated with that subdomain. It's document root. Once the domain is created, it will be listed at the bottom of the subdomains page. Congratulations! You are now familiar with primary domains, add-on domains, aliases, or park domains, and subdomains. You know how they are used and how they can be created in cPanel. If you liked our video tutorial, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.